Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can program this NRF51A22 module which is also known as Core51A22. To program this module we will use this JLink programmer which you can buy from AliExpress. To program NRF51A22 we will need 4 jumper wires. This one is VCC or 3.3 volts this one is ground this one is SWD IO and SWD clock connect these four jumper wires to the module you can see on the screen the four pins which will be used for programming each wire should be soldered to that pin on the J-Link side, you can connect those female jumpers directly to these male pins. The four wires that will be used for programming out of those 20 pins are indicated. Ok, let's solder the wires on the module. This is VCC. This is the ground. This is SWD IO and this is SWD clock. Now let's connect the J link to the module using these wires so you can do it like this is the VCC pin, this is ground, ok so it's connected. Now connect the J-Link to your PC. Now it's powered up. The two files which we need to be programmed into the NRF51 is one is this soft device and the other is application file. This file is which we generate ourselves from the code and this is a complete file which is already available. If you want to find this file you can find it on this directory. Alright on the PC you should open J Flush Lite software from Sagar Embedded Systems and select the microcontroller NRF51822 QFAA this one and SWD interface is already selected 4000 kilohertz clock OK. Now first of all erase the chip. OK as you can see the erasing is done successfully. Now open the soft device, program soft device successfully programmed. Now here is the point, you do not need to actually erase it again before programming the next application file. Ok now it's programmed successfully, now let's see if we can check our device from our smartphone. So the firmware, the hex files are uploaded successfully. Let's see if it's working or not. Open the NRF connect app and there you can see the device is there. Let's connect to it. It's connected now. You can enable or disable the notification and you can send data to it whatever you want one more thing i would like to mention here is sometimes you are not able to program your nrf51 using jlink and the biggest reason to that is the jlink is actually not supplying power to the module so what you have to do is you have to use an external power source to power the module NRF51 chip and then if you will program using JLink it will 100% work. 
If you found this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want me to make videos on any specific topic, you can let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.